Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Cubit Games. Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. I have an exciting eShop discount extravaganza going for you. This is part of Cubic Games 18 anniversary. Yeah, 18 years. Cubic Games has been crushing it with some of the best independent titles around especially on the Nintendo Switch. So if you've been around watching my content, you've seen through the years, I've reviewed tons of these games. So if you want to see full in-depth fleshed out reviews or let's plays of some of these titles that I'm about to recommend, they're all over. In fact, I will go ahead and link them down below for you. But yeah, 18 years of Cubic Games. This is a big extravaganza. They're having tons of sales. They even have a contest coming up that will be going live today go ahead and check out their website for more information so if you have or if you buy one of these selected cubic games titles you will get all the following games on sale down below for a dollar 80 each now if i had to pick a fair share of games to recommend real quick out of these selected few to get the uh discount mana spark is another game that is just one of those hidden indie gems so i definitely recommend it has great vibrant colors a great look uh, it plays solid i mean if you are a fan of indie games mana spark is criminally underrated i also made a video talking about it on my channel i also played wrecked which was a lot of fun it's like a racing destruction derby evil knievel type of thing you just do stunts and you try to rack them up so if you buy any of those titles for $1.99 any of the following games cost below um $1.80. First one that catches my eye is Tools Up. So if you played something along the lines of, uh, what's that, Overcooked? Uh, Tools Up is actually the same thing. So you take hold of different characters that are renovating a house. You have to paint it, put carpet, basically just home improvement. If you like sports, if you like boxing, then you could check out Real Boxing 2 that actually allows you to customize your fighter. You can choose your outfit. You can get a new tattoo. You can change your haircut. You can train. You can battle against different challenging types of opponents. You can play mini games to train your fighter. It's actually pretty interesting. It's a, it's a cool little diversion. It's a neat little boxing game. I mean, who didn't like Mike Tyson's punch out growing up? Another game that I had a lot of fun with, Om Nom Run. Omnon Run is an endless runner where you play as this cute little green character and you avoid buses and trains and different obstacles and stuff. It's actually a really good sit down and play type of game. Then so we got Planet Quiz Learn and Discover. If you like to educate yourself, maybe play a game with a kiddo or two. There's all sorts of different quiz games on here. There's different modes. There's a single or multiplayer. There's three different levels of difficulty. There's various different subjects, 17 different categories, cities, countries, mountains, water, people, animals, you name it. There's a lot of different things here to provide edutainment. You know, people say games aren't educational. I disagree. Why don't you get Planet Quiz, Learn, and Discover? We got Pudding Monsters, which looks like a fun little type of game. Has cute little characters. Some quirkiness to it. It's $1.80, 63% off. I mean, it's less than the cost of a McDouble. Next up, we got a 2D top-down SWAT team type of game where you command an elite anti-terrorist squad and lead them on the most dangerous missions. You're able to plan choose equipment breach points and coordinate multiple troopers in order to reach the hostage room before the bad guys get to press the trigger there's unlimited gameplay versus mission generators non-linear level freeform tactics that allow you to improvise adapt and overcome five different trooper classes and a lot of replay value here this one actually seems pretty challenging and looks like a lot of fun now blazing beaks i actually had a lot of fun playing this one when it first came out it's 87 percent off right now for a dollar 80 i actually played this with some of my stream um viewers and stuff back in the day and it's just cute if you like ducks come on next we got badland game of the year edition this actually received pretty good awards and scores from different gaming websites it's an action adventure game hand painted graphic 15 hours of a single player campaign and awesome multiplayer fun 
for up to four players. It's an atmospheric side-scrolling action-adventure platformer that has physics-based gameplay. Over 100 unique levels for both single and multiplayer. And there's even built-in achievements in this game. This one actually looks like a lot of fun. Now, next up, we got Hyper Parasite. If you're looking for a game that screams a challenge, a game that screams action, that's just absolutely fun to play, this one is another one that I highly recommend. It's another game that I actually did a video on, and I think you guys will like it quite a bit. Next up, we got Epistory. This one seems like a fantasy type of game, but it's typing. Epistory Typing Chronicles. So every element in the game can be controlled by typing words into the keyboard. So you explore a beautiful paper crap world where you play as the muse riding a giant three-tailed fox lost in a fantasy 3D world. This one actually looks really interesting. It looks like it has a lot of creativity behind it. Who doesn't like an action and adventure game with puzzle elements and unique gameplay mechanics? I know I do. Next up, we have Good Night Night, which is a 16-bit sneak and slash adventure. It's charming. It has some amazing looking graphics some quirky little personality, some Genesse Qua. Now we have Tiny Lands, which is a relaxing puzzle game with some amazing features. There's different environments. It looks really relaxing. You could basically play at your own leisure, take it easy, grab a cup of coffee, but it has pretty unique environments. There's beach scenes, there's waves that you can hear. It's like a refreshing type of, I guess, decompression type of game. Now, if you like arena slashers that are very brutal, you'll like Akane. It's a one hit, one kill gameplay mechanic type of game where there's all sorts of different enemies are looking to slice you up. I played this game and it ate my lunch. Now we have a roguelike deck building game. This is called Dungeon Top Spell Sword Cards. So if you're looking for an RPG with card battling, this is yours right here. There's over 800 powerful cards to unlock in this game. There's deck building options. You find different weapons to equip, artifacts to use, talents to master, and you basically build your own unique fantasy hero. Your choices in the dungeons influence your chance of survival in this game. So it's a classic old school RPG card battling type of game that looks like a lot of fun. Warlocks 2 God Slayers. Now this has classic hack and slash gameplay. The pixel art is freaking amazing here. There's some good animations. The... Uh, this hack and slash experience can be solo or local co-op. Each warlock has about 8 to 10 hours of own gameplay for each one. So you can go back and beat it with a different warlock to experience a whole different game. Now we have a role-playing action-adventure cyberpunk game called Dex. Now I briefly played this on video. I liked what I saw. You take on a character who's a mysterious blue haired girl named Dex. She's being hunted by an organization for her unique abilities. It's almost like a fugitive type of thing. There's a great atmosphere here. The characters, the NPCs, are everything that you would ever want in a game. But most of all, it's a throwback to classic 2D platforming and action games. But what's impressive is that it has real in-depth RPG mechanics here. And the atmosphere, you know, the cyberpunk type of world is just awesome. So yeah, guys, there you go. 18 years of Cubic Games. It's pretty exciting. Not every video game developer reaches 18 years. So happy birthday to Cubic Games and... They wanted to share this information with you, share some of the games I wanted to talk about and share some of the games. I hope this video helped you out. Load it up. $1.80 for each of these games on sale. You can get a $20 eShop card and have nuts with some of these solid recommendations that I gave you. I mean, Akane, Coffee Crisis, Mana Spark Alone, Wrecked. That's hours of gameplay there. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully it helped you out. Let me know in the comments down below if you bought any of these games. I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much.